Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Noel here from Blackwater Salmon Fishery. In today's video, Glenn is going to talk to us about the double haul. So um, a really useful cast to have, really efficient cast to have in your arsenal. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So uh, let's get straight into it. Hi everybody. What I'd really like to talk about today is the double haul. And the double haul can sometimes be quite difficult to learn, especially if you try to learn it the way I did. So as a kid learning how to cast, I always knew there was a back haul. So with my hand, I put in a back haul and then cast forwards. But to increase the line speed, we need a back haul and a forwards haul. But I took a very, very long time to learn how to do this. And what it looked like in the beginning was something like this. And I really couldn't get it very quickly at all. So one of the techniques that I've learned to teach is to put everything down on the grass. But before we do that, what I'd like to show you is what a hole does. If we imagine that we have a tight line and we can move the rod hand a little bit, you can see how much the rod bends. If I don't move the rod hand and if I move the line hand, here you can see the rod bends also. But if we do the two together, then it increases the bend on the rod. And when you increase the bend on the rod, what you have is more rod load. And when you have more rod load, then the less work that you have to put in yourself. So instead of doing this in the air, what I do is I try to lie this down on the flat. So I turn the rod around, palm up into the sky and the reel up. And I put myself out a line along the grass. And what I then do is I try to track the straight line. Without this hand at all, I just try to track the straight line back and forward. And if you're overshooting like this, then you're not going to get tight loops. And tight loops is really important if you want to get the double hole working properly for yourself. So practice this first, back and forward, make sure that you're on the line. And once you've done that, then you can bring the line hand in. And what we're going to do is we're going to co concentrate on just one part at a time. So we're only going to think about the back cast. Can you imagine that I have a trampoline here? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull down, and I can't stop at the end of the pull, I need to bounce off the trampoline. It's like, boing! So what we have is, we don't pull, don't pull, boing! Okay, I'll do that again. Don't pull, don't pull, boing! Leave the line in the grass for, for a minute, have a think about it, and then just cast forward any old way. So the forward cast is not important at the moment, we're only concentrating on one thing at a time, and that's the back cast. So palm up, reel up to the sky, tight line here, boing. So once we've perfected the back cast and it's working for us, and you know when it's working, when the line is pulled back up. So if you finish with slack line like this, it's not working for you, the line needs to be tight. So it's boing, and you've got a tight line. When you get that working, have a go at the forward cast. Same thing. Boing. Bounce off the trampoline. So you can't stop and then go up. Or just what happens? You bounce. So back cast, boing. Forward cast, boing. So when you have the back cast and the forward cast working together, and you feel as if you're quite comfortable doing this, then what you do is you try to take it up into the air. So very slowly, back, forward, and of course in the beginning what happens is it all falls apart. And when it does, I suggest you go back to the back cast only. Back cast. And try the forward cast. Take it back onto the grass. Back cast, lie it down, think about it, do the forward cast. Try again, up into the air. And what happens is that the muscles will get some memory of doing this and suddenly you're hauling. So this is really worthwhile trying uh, on grass. In fact, I, I would prefer to teach this on grass before I got anywhere near the water. And it's much, much better that you have this together before you get to the river. So happy practicing. I welcome any of your comments and any thoughts for next week's video. Thank you very much. Great help there from Glenda with the double haul, a fantastic cast as I said before for um, 
you know, really, really efficient for when you're out on a day's fishing. You don't get tired arms and whatnot from it. So I hope that really helps you out, guys. And uh, also, thanks for watching the video. It really means a lot to us here at the fishery. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, tight loops. Thank you.